All right, this is Advent of Code, day 14. Uh, I see, it's like some kind of parsing pen. Error insertion. I see. times 10 steps Always worth a try, I guess. One, five, eight, eight, so on. Is correct. Two three six zero. Sad. Forty steps. Ah, oh, that's still too many times though. Interesting. I was just this list. Yes. Right, 
just need to count of how many each pair there are, I think. That sounds right to me. Uh, These are pairs. Mm. You can check the final character. I see. Not plus equals one. Okay, decent recovery in part two. So what was going on here? Hmm. Oh, let me adapt, adapt this code so it actually solves both parts. Hmm. I think it's just that. Most common minus least common. I'm just off by one. What should go there? Oh, what's that? Okay, T three six zero and T nine something one eight. Okay, cool. Uh, right, so what's going on here? So first we parse the input file. So we have a starting string and then we have a set of rules. Uh, and each rule is like a uh, pair, uh, arrow, something, which I'm just gonna leave in this dictionary of rules. Um, and then we're gonna keep track of, so this is sort of like the lanternfish puzzle on day seven? I don't know, remember what day. But anyway, we have to keep track of like counts of something instead of the whole thing. It's a bit more complicated this time, but basically what we need to keep track of uh, counts of each pair of letters. Okay, and that'll let us compute things. Um, so this is like the initial pairs, right? So for every pair of adjacent things, we add that to our count. And then uh, to step, we go through each of the pairs 
and that produces the pair has a letter that goes in the middle. So basically, like, A R O B, right? Like when we add R to the middle, we get we do we lose the pair A B, but we get the pair A R, and we get the other pair R B. Um, and the number, you know, every AB becomes one of those. So if we have C1 of K ABs, then we get, you know, that many ARs and that many OBs. Um, and then if we've completed 10 or 40 steps, we want to get the count for each character and print out the uh, max minus the min. So how do we get the count for each character? Um, oh. Uh, basically... First character of each pair So this is the explanation. Um, basically, if you consider the whole string, every character is both the beginning character of one pair and the end character of another pair, except the first character, which is only at the beginning, and the last character, which is only at the end. So if we take the first character of each pair, uh, that gives us the counts um, for every character except for the last character. So what's the last character? Do we need to keep track of that? That'd be annoying. No. We don't, because the last character is the same as the last character of this original string. Because we only had characters in the middle, right? We never had characters at the end. The last character here was B, 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 B. It's always going to be B. Um, so we could just add that guy on separately. And then this gives us our final counts. And, uh, you know, that's it. So I think that's all to say about this day. Um, pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, had a couple couple issues, but um, overall, pretty well. So yeah, see you tomorrow.